This is the new FGS dashboarding system. The intention of this is to make it simple, not to make it overly complicated. There are many solutions on the market um, and all of them are good in different ways, um, but we just feel there's something low cost and simple to get people started where we can push data from the FG series. And when I say push, I mean push rather than pull because push doesn't require a fixed IP address. So we're utilizing web services here. Let's start the, um, the CPT 10.11 and let's go into the kit manager and we need to add a kit called EasyIO FGS. So I'll just apply that while I'm doing that. Let's just go back to the um, Emon FGS. Just put in the username. You can create your own account, as many as you like. The one I'm going to show you today is EasyIO. And we just log in like so. And what we're looking for is inputs here. So first thing I want to do is just delete everything that was in there previously so we can have a nice clean start. Because what we're going to do is we're going to push the the data points automatically into this database and I'll just get rid of this feed and we had some dashboards before let's just delete that as well and we can have a nice fresh start okay so back to the CPT we started up again and what you do is you bring in the CPT kit any way you like. So what we do is do add an object. Um, let's go to FGS and let's add the Emon push. Now one of the key things here is don't forget to enable it once you've set it up. I made that mistake before. Uh, let's just add some things that we're going to measure. Ramps are always good. Uh, maybe we have a constant boolean, uh, maybe just two ramps actually, I think will be good enough for this. Or maybe even three ramps, we can copy them anyway, so just copy and paste and paste. I'm not going to worry too much about what the data is at this point in time, I really just want to get you started with the FGS at this point in time. So first thing you're going to do is give them names, we're going to call this energy, temp and humidity. So just link these in. Now nothing will happen until we enable the service and what we will do is reduce the update interval to 10 seconds. Um, we've got the host, address, host ID address there for the EMON and its default is .50. All I need now is just to check the API key. Now every time you set up an account you get a new API key. So go to input go to the input API helper and here's your read write API key just copy that and paste that into here and now enable the service and once it's enabled you see connect data sent connect data sent what it's also done is created those three inputs so if we go to inputs now you'll see it's created three inputs if I was to add a second one um, let's just copy it for this exercise. Um, no, let, let's do it manually because I don't want it to be enabled. If I copy it, it will be enabled. So let's just go to FGS, Emon Push. And this time give them different names. Call this one Craig. Call it Mike. And call this um, Power. Doesn't really matter what they are. And just create, uh, just bring these inputs in to this one now. So you can have as many as you like. It's just pure web services and the FG series is geared up to handle this. And here we go, just put this into here. Enable this and you will find now we will now have six data inputs. So let's just make sure that's data sent. Oh, we just need to make sure we've got the correct API key again. Let's just copy that, put that into here. And you should start to see this working shortly. Let's make that 10 seconds as well. And there you go, that one's working. So if we just go now back to the um, refresh the inputs, see now we have six inputs. So all we do is go to the uh, little toolbar there and we've, you've got a choice of log to feed, power to kilowatts, 
um, and any uh, quite a bit of post kind of um, processing that you could do you could use an existing one which we don't have so I'm just going to call this log energy just keep it simple to start with and once I've done that I can go to my feed and you'll see you can set it as public or as open and there's the data coming in. There's a slight time difference between the server and my PC or, or the controller should I say. So let's go and put this data now into a dashboard. So if we go into dashboards we create a new one here and let's just edit that give this a name and call this iControl and just press the tick here so now if I go into here, this is the iControl dashboard. Click on this to edit. When you're finished, you'll see there's a small eye there. After you've saved it, that will take you back to a nice clean screen. So if I was just to add a, a dial, click on here, configure that. I'm going to log the energy feed because it's the only one I have. I'm going to say the maximum is 100. Scale 1 units kilowatt type 1 save and as you can see now um, maybe I didn't save that I just do that again not sure what I did wrong there so we just try that again widget dial configure 100 1 kilowatts 1 save and save here. I think that's what I forgot to do last time. And there you are. So there's a very simple um, dashboard. It's a quick video. There'll be more to follow. Um, as you want to add more, just go in and edit like this. Go and add some containers, some text, visualization. So here's a real-time graph. Bring this in. Do configure. Again, log energy again. And as you see, you start to get some really nice, simple HTML5 charts. So that's all for now. Thank you.